Good morning. Today is July 12th and today we are going to study how to basically improve just one thing in each section of your life to actually improve it fivefold. And the thing is, in the last video, we were talking about how you can treat your life as a startup and your journey as a startup and work on it. Now, if you ever go to any business's PNL or talk to a CEO, it is not only one thing, there are many. There is networking, there is going to be profit and loss, there is going to be product, there is going to be designing. A lot of things go into the company. Same way in a human being as well. There are at least five different aspects of our life that we are going to cover today. And one advice, only one advice that relates to them. So the first one is about at The quote reads and it goes like, in your actions, do not procrastinate. All right. So what comes with actions? Not procrastinating. What is not procrastinating? After what video, I want you to stop the YouTube video. Go and do some work. That is what it means by stop procrastinating. All right. Until and unless you are tired from a break and you are watching this video as a kind of reward for your sister. Other than that, when we scroll the reels and you know how hard it is to actually just not go to the next reel. We have to stop that. We have to make a very, very conscious decision. And I know a lot of times it is like easier said than that. But it is so simple. All you have to do is you have to set a timer in your camera, in your phone of let's just say five minutes. All right. After five minutes, I'll go do my work. And as the reminder goes off, as the alarm goes off, no matter how much you hate it, just stop it and go to work. This is something that I personally use. And that five, four, three, two, one, right? That kind of helps your brain like come into the zone where it is actually focusing. That helps a lot. The second aspect of our life is communication. You know, one is working, one is doing the work sitting there. If you can see, I believe it will be blurred, but one is that and the other is this, all right? The second is going to be communicate very, very clearly. You know, I'm recording this video the second time. The first time didn't go so well. The reason is you have to keep it very clear. Now, just think about it. If I, fumbling is okay, but if I distort this message, you will not be coming back to this YouTube channel. And that is going to basically decrease my audience. The very amazing audience that I can have, I won't be having that. The same thing happens in our life as well. A lot of time we miscommunicate, we mess things up, we have an attitude of, you know, I'm responsible for what I say, not what you understand. But being a teacher, I can definitely tell you that a lot of time, how the student is acting is going to be my responsibility of whether he understood it or not. And same way, it also goes for at least half of the conversations that we have in our life. It does. So what we have to do is we have to be very, very, very cognizant of whatever we say and how are we saying it. The third is going to be we have covered work, the work that we do with our hand. We have covered how do we speak. Now what do we think? A lot of times what you think is what you speak and what you think is actually what you do. So we have to take consideration of actually thinking into the line of what we want. What does that mean? Recently there was this quote uh, in an interview by Zakir Khan, like somebody who was taking his interview. And it actually went like he said that his father told him that from now on, because you are reaching a certain level of success, only being nice will not help. You will have to be nice. And there is a difference between them. One is to show that you're good. Other is to actually be good. And how do you be good? You are being good with your inner being actually being good. You cannot hate anyone. No matter how much we want, we cannot hate anyone. Let's remove hatred from our God. And I know there are people that will piss you off. But the thing is to let it go. Don't go and hug them. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the anger and frustration that builds up into your heart and which makes you waste time. All right. Don't do that. Forgive that person in your heart. Let that thing go. And that will save your emotions, your times, your feelings, your thought process, and that will help you focus your life in order. Get to go and hug them. That is a great thing. But internally, you should be very, very cool. Now we have covered work, our communication, our thoughts. 
There is one more thing that comes in here and that is your soul. In your soul, we have to be very, very balanced. We have to neither be passive. Wherever, when we are like, see our thoughts are guided by our intention. And our intention comes from our soul. If we are intending to be very passive, okay, that is not going to work or even aggressive. We have to be balanced. You can take actions aggressively, but you have to be balanced in yourself to be calm enough, content enough to actually take any decision. And the last one is my favorite. It is about time. You know, what is time? Our life is time. It is a passing of the moment. For example, it is the passing of the last four minutes that you have spent with me. And thank you for letting me have the four minutes of your life to be with you, me, Bill. The thing is, in our life, we cannot make it all about business. After I record this video, after I have edited this, I'm going to chill with my people. You know, I'm going to chill with my friends. A lot of times in art, we forget that. It's so much about art and so much about business and so much so much about me that we actually forget. I uh, recently was watching this video by Hamza Yusuf, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf. And he was saying that we are born with this programming of, you know, the me culture and what you realize as you grow up is you have to learn that it is not all about you. It is about other people as well. And in life, it is not all about business. It is about the life actually, more than business, more than art, more than me. There are going to be other people as well. So, I really hope this video makes a difference in your life. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.